Previously, on the Real Madrid Super League Career Mode Series, we signed Borussia Dortmund duo Gundogan and Hummels, lost 2-1 in the Super League season opener to Juventus, and unfortunately lost 1-0 to title rivals Bayern Munich. Episode number 3, here we go. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number three of the Real Madrid Super League Career Mode series. We are going to kick off this episode with a huge matchup, traveling to Manchester, the Etihad Stadium, to play the English champions, Manchester City. It's going to be a tough ask, but I am confident that we can get the victory against Manchester City. Thank you guys so much for 200 likes on the last episode. Absolutely blew my mind when I woke up this morning and checked YouTube to see that many likes. It was absolutely crazy. And thank you yet again to everybody who is new around here. All of you mean so much and it is absolutely awesome to see that we are growing magnificently. But we haven't been in great form in the Super League as of late, losing 2-1 uh, to Juventus and then 1-0 to Bayern Munich. But we get off to a great start against Manchester City. Tony Cruz pouncing on a Man City mistake and giving us a 1-0 advantage 11 minutes in. And it only gets better just before halftime as James Rodriguez chases down a long ball. He's going to cut back in. Plenty of space in the box. Taps it in between Joe Hart's legs and absolutely embarrasses Joe Hart, a nutty goal there, the first one I have scored on this FIFA, did not expect it to go in at all, and TBH, I think nutty goals might be OP this year, if you just smash it along the ground at the goalkeeper, it might go just go through their legs, so, uh, unlucky to everybody, unlucky to Joe Hart, but James Rodriguez, nice little bit of vision there, as we look on the replay, straight through Joe Hart's legs. Sorry about the bird in the background, it's a little shit. But um, Jesus Navas right now in the 71st minute scores an absolute scream and nothing Casillas could do about that. And he has all of a sudden made this game a little bit interesting. A 2-1 scoreline, 71 minutes in. Hopefully we can hold on and get the victory as Carvajal plus it to Gareth Bale who lays it off to Isco. A rocket of a shot lands at Ronaldo's feet and he gets the second effort header, collecting the scraps and giving us a 3-1 advantage, silencing the Manchester City crowd and doing an awesome Ronaldo celebration. Absolutely cool goal. I'm loving the cinematics on this game and the freaking player faces. Everything is just so realistic on this year's FIFA and I'm absolutely loving FIFA. Isco though playing a great ball at the top there to Javier Hernandez who slides it past Joe Hart. Not sure what the England ke uh, keeper was doing there. And terrible goalkeeping. Just let Ronaldo, sorry, Chikorito roll it straight past him. Uh, but then in the 80th minute, Carvajal here with a free kick. Somehow it ends up at the feet of Negredo, then to Silva. And David Silva makes it a 4-2 scoreline. 81 minutes into the game. I am confident that we can hold on, but it's going to be a little bit tense yet again. Luckily, we got those two uh, goals. But pushing on in the 90th minute, Jesus Navas here. He passed it to Mangala. Some terrible defending from me. And the French centre-back scores a goal to make it 4-3 and this is going to be a tense last few minutes. We park the bus Chelsea style and I hope we can hold on as Luka Modric here passes it to Gadetti. A great ball but David Silva hits it straight at Casillas and then the referee blows the full time whistle and we defeated Manchester City four goals to three in what was an absolute thriller of a game. Tony Cruz scoring a goal so he can be happy. So can Ronaldo. So can Chikorito. So can Hazes, uh, James Rodriguez. Excuse me. We defeat Manchester City four goals to three away from home. A great result. 
PSG come back at us and say 85 million pounds for Cristiano Ronaldo and I'm going to up the ante. Last time I said 105 million pounds but since he had a great game we're adding an extra 3 million pounds onto his price tag. 108 million pounds for Ronaldo uh, and Barcelona look like they're going to steal Sergio Aguero from us. I was hoping to get him but if we can't it's not the end of the world. Danny Sturridge is going to hopefully pick up his form and prove everybody wrong. Uh, so right now, PSG come back and say £99 million, and I'm not going to lie, I was very tempted to accept it, but yet again, I decided to counter-offer £108 million. That would be the smart idea in my mind. And it looks like we're going to be keeping Ronaldo for the time being, thank God. PSG have pulled out of negotiations. Moving on into Game 4 of the Super League campaign, we are back at the Santiago Bernabeu playing our Italian side, AS Roma. It, we should get the victory. I am very confident in that we will get the victory, uh, but it is going to be a tough ask nonetheless. Every game in this league is going to be tough because it is some of the best teams in the world. Uh, Daniel De Rossi there, the captain of Roma. Hopefully we can stop him today and hopefully he can't have an impact. But on the stroke of halftime, James Rodriguez with a shot, but a great save there from the Roma keeper, keeping it out of the back of the net. Uh, just a great save, a great strike from James Rodriguez. It was going to sneak in there, but the keeper able to get a hand to it. As we take the corner here, Tony Cruz is going to line this one up. Hopefully we can get a goal to head in to the sheds. Happy Tony Cruz looking for a man in the box. He is going to whip it in here to Gareth Bale, who gets on the near post of the goalkeeper. And a great headed goal there, giving us a 1-0 advantage. It's a very good advantage heading into the halftime break. We're going to be full of confidence, and Gareth Bale has been an absolutely great player for us this series. And it just shows again as Gareth Bale outmuscles Ashley Cole, gets past him. He's going to whip it into the box here. Danny Sturridge smashing it past the keeper to get his first goal as a Real Madrid player. A great sign there, and a great goal there from Danny Sturridge, all because of Gareth Bale's sight. Uh, so Ronaldo here, he's going to outpace Astori, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's going to smash it near post, but unfortunately he puts it wide. But that is enough to get the referee to blow the full-time whistle. We have defeated AS Roma, two goals to nil at home. Definitely a great victory. Very pleased with how we played as a team. And I think we can only get better from here. Uh, definitely full of confidence. So great signs from the lads. Sturridge and Bale getting a goal each. Transfer deadline day now. And I'm throwing a big spanner into the mix. We're shaking things up and we're going in for Neymar, the 22-year-old, 86 overall left winger from Barcelona. We're putting up £45 million plus Sami Khedira. It's an absolutely crazy move, but I think if we can get him, it's going to pay off. And Barcelona, they don't think it's enough money and they don't want Sami Khedira. So I'm going to have to go in here and change up a little bit of the budget and add a little bit more money. So we're going to go 49 million pounds, pull out Kadira, and we're going to be adding Isco Disco. I know Isco's a great player and he's got a lot of potential, but let's be real here. Isco for Neymar, I think it's a good deal. So as we progress, four hours left on deadline day, Barcelona accept the transfer offer and we are going to be in contract negotiations with Neymar, the Brazilian little winger. Such a little beast, and he's going to be a great signing if we can get him in. And we have brought in Neymar. I'm praying it. I'm praying for it, lads. As we push three hours in, three hours left, Neymar's joined us. Our newest signing, our latest signing on transfer deadline day. What a signing. We're going to wrap up the episode here, showing you guys the squad report. Sorry about the bird in the background. Might just go snack, snack his neck in a second. It was just 
banter. Uh, but this is the squad report at the start of October, I believe it is, or it could be the start of, no, start of September, because, yes, September 1st. But that is how we're going to wrap up the episode. If you lads did enjoy this episode, make sure you smash that like button. Every like helps. If we can hit 150 likes again, that'll ensure another episode of Career Mode the same time tomorrow. Really enjoying producing this Career Mode for you guys, so I really hope that you are enjoying watching it. Make sure that you subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitter at JaredHD. Leave a comment down below for me to personally reply to. But most importantly, lads, have a great day. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.